Hi, I'm Allie, and welcome to the first of a series of tutorials on clone cloth. We're going to start with the very basics, and we'll get into more complex lessons later. But for now, let's assume you have just purchased the clone cloth templates from Real Illusion, and you want to know where they are and how to properly organize them. So let's start with organizing your clone cloth. When you install clone cloth, Real Illusion places all the templates in your default template directory. For Windows XP, this can be found in C, Documents and Settings, All Users, Shared Documents, Real Illusion, Template, iClone 4 Template, iClone Template, Materials Library, G3 Clone Cloth Volume 1. In Vista and Windows 7, the path is C, Users, Public, Documents, Real Illusion, Template, iClone 4 Template, iClone Template, Materials Library, and G3 Clone Cloth Volume 1. Okay, so first of all, we're going to replace Tray with one of our clone cloth models. So we'll start with Tray Bodysuit. The clone cloth templates have to be applied to the correct based model. For example, you cannot apply a bodysuit upper to hoodie. Then we're going to select Upper, and we'll go to Load Material, and we'll navigate to where our material files are, which I showed you in the path earlier, and we'll find the tray bodysuit upper template. So what we're going to do in our custom folders is we're going to create a folder where we will keep our templates. And for this we'll call it the Mail G3 Clone Cloth, or you can call it whatever you like. Then within this folder we'll create a subfolder which we'll call Bodysuit. And we're going to add that template to this custom folder. Okay, now we're going to navigate to the same folder where the template was, and we're going to open the wrinkle files that Real Illusion provides, and we're going to add them to the same folder. Wrinkle files are simply bump maps, um, and the reason I'm storing them here is so that I can find them more easily later. And I'm just going to label them wrinkle A and wrinkle B and I'll show you how to use these in a future tutorial. So now we're going to select the lower bodysuit and we're going to navigate to the lower template and once again in lower we'll uh, create a folder which we can call G3 clone cloth mail again you can call it whatever you like And then we'll create a subfolder, which we'll call Bodysuit. And then we'll add that template to our custom folder. Now once again we're going to navigate to the wrinkle files. I'm calling them wrinkle A and B to match up to the names that Real Illusion have given them. Okay, now you've saved all your bodysuit templates. So we'll now load a different base character. Okay, this one is hoodie and tucked. So now we'll navigate to the folder called Hoodie Intact and we'll load the upper template. So in our upper folder we'll create another subfolder which we'll call Hoodie and we'll add our Hoodie template.
And then again add the two uh, wrinkle files. And then in lower, we'll navigate to the tucked template, add that, and create a new folder called tucked. I assume this one is called tucked so that you can tuck the pants into boots, but I don't know that for sure. And then we're just quickly adding the two wrinkle files as well. And as I mentioned, I'll explain how to use these later. They're not actually templates. They're bump maps, uh, but we'll get into that later. Okay, now we'll start another one. Overcoat and boot cut. Overcoat 01 and boot cut. We have three different overcoats for the male. I'll just finish off here adding the uh, wrinkle maps, but you can finish this off yourself. I think it's pretty clear now how to do it. And the only thing we'll touch on now is the shoes, because you're going to have to do that with the shoes as well. So we'll select a different uh, base model here so it's a bit easier to see the shoes. Okay, so what you need to do now is navigate to the uh, shoes that came with the Clone Cloth G3. And add, uh, in this case, career shoe to tray. And then you're going to load the material, which is in the same files where all the rest of them are, for the career shoe. Now you've got the template applied and in your custom folder for shoes you can create a G3 male clone cloth shoe folder. And we'll add the template and call it career. Now we can't just go load another template on top of this, we have to have the correct base shoe so we're just adding the uh, casual shoe, I think. We'll navigate to casual, and now we'll add the template. And then we're ready to add that to our custom folder. We'll label it casual. And that's basically it. You just need to go through all the shoes and add the template. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It will be the first of many I plan to do, and the next one will uh, go over how to apply your material files that you've purchased to your templates now that you have them organized. Thanks for watching.